Hi, I'm Mark Seliger. I'm a photographer in New York City. You know, there, was, there had been a little bit of reluctance, I think, or a lot of reluctance, actually, to do the, the cover the first time around. And then the day of the shoot, the band pulls up, and we're probably 45 minutes outside of Melbourne, and Chris and Dave kind of tumble out of the the van laughing and Kurt's the last one to get out and he's wearing sunglasses and uh, a, you know one of his cardigan sweaters and he sort of unbuttons it and exposes the writing corporate magazines still suck and started laughing I laughed but then I kept on remembering oh how am I going to get him to change into a different shirt and he's wearing sunglasses so I tried to negotiate whether it would be the sunglasses or the t-shirt the good people at Rolling Stone, Jan Winter, and all the editors thought it was fantastic. It really was a significant uh, kind of representation of grunge music. And then when we came back to them on the next record, In Utero, I think that Kurt felt very appreciative that we didn't change anything, that we honored his reluctance and his less commercial approach to, to being a rock star. And then the second situation, which was really for the interior of the magazine, was a very simple approach to portraiture that I had been working on with a four by five. This portrait session was probably no more than seven to 10 minutes. The surprising part was, was after 20 sheets of film, I came back to, to look at the Polaroid after Kurt had left, and I examined it, and I just, kind of knew that that was the, the expression that sort of beat everything else because it was, it was an, an unguarded moment, there was a vulnerability to it. It was very telling, I think, to really what was perception and reality. That photograph, because it was one of the last ones taken, became, I think, representative of one of the moments before, you know, he was no longer around.